Uh, more than 100 vaccines have been developed and tested around the world to stop the COVID-19 pandemic, which has so far killed 4 million people worldwide. Many drug makers are planning to start human trials for their vaccine candidate. Ngozika HAC tells us more. More than 100 million people have been infected with the coronavirus 19 months after it was first detected in China. The death toll has now hit a new grim milestone. Major drug makers and research institutes are planning to start human trials for their vaccine candidates, just like Pfizer and Moderna had done. We were fortunate to have invested in a new technology platform called mRNA vaccine and worked for two years with a partner in Germany, a biotech partner, to uh, deal with flu and made a lot of progress with the platform. And it turned out that we could bring that experiences and make a leap into uh, application for SARS-CoV-2. We can indeed, with this vaccine, induce an immune response in everybody that received the vaccine. And that immune response generates the kind of antibodies that one would hope to generate, antibodies that can neutralize the virus, and that we can get to levels of antibodies that are those seen in people who've been infected with SARS-CoV-2, or in fact, even exceed those levels. It's stable for more than one year at room temperature. And this is a tremendous adv advantage if you want to start the vaccination in uh, development countries, uh, you know, some countries, Africa, Asia, and so on. The virus, this virus, as you know, has spikes. And the spikes are very important to the infectivity because the spikes bind to a human cell and it's a very, very fixed binding. It's like super glue. So, so that, that we're trying to disrupt that process by having antibodies that bind to the spike protein. A researcher from the Russian Gamalia Institute says no single serious harmful side effect was found during the clinical research of its own vaccine. Antibody immunity response has been found to be much higher in vaccinated people in contrast with those who suffer the disease. The coronavirus has killed 4 million people around the world and billions more people have had to deal with crippling lockdowns and a slowdown in the global economy. For Plus TV Africa, Gozika or Haichesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.